Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Naiso, and I'm a refugee from Burma. So I grew up in a refugee camp in Thailand, but then I came here when I was like nine years old. Uh, everything changed when um, changed in my family's life when we arrived in the United States. It was very hard for my family and I because none of us spoke any English nor understood. When I first started school, I didn't understand any, anything that the teacher was like saying, but because of the school provided ESL classes, and I slowly adapted and learned English. There was also afternoon programs through Asian Inc. that helped me adapt as well. I recently graduated from St. Joseph Academy um, because, <laughs> but because of the scholarship that I received from the Refugee Response, I was able to receive an, an amazing education from St. Joseph Academy. Um, and then the summer, the summer of my sophomore year of high school, I meet Julie through the Refugee Response. You wouldn't believe this, but it was so awkward when, I first, when we first met. I was so shy that I could barely like, say anything. Thankfully, my sister also met her tutor the same day as I did. So it wasn't that awkward, but still awkward, though. Uh, <laughs> Julie and Erin will like, come over every week, and we will work on schoolwork, play games, and explore Cleveland together. For holidays, they will always make sure to do something special, like painting Easter eggs and making Christmas gingerbread houses. Julie helped me study for my uh, driver license test. She helped me apply for my first job at Marks. We filled out the application together, and she told me to call for like a follow-up on the application. Uh, I was like, I'm a shy person, and I was very nervous. She told me to pretend I was talking to her, so I was more confident and was able to talk to them. Don't worry, I did get the job. Uh, <laughs> throughout my year in high school, Julie helped me a lot. The things that I struggle the most is my writing. Uh, whenever I need help, she will always be there to make sure that I understood what I was writing. Uh, my senior year was the most stressful year because I, I had to write college essay, applying for colleges, and fill out FAFSA stuff. It was difficult because no one in my family has ever gone to college before. Julie also went with me and my mom to orientation and helped me talk into the financial aid to make sure that everything was okay. Basically, Julie was part of my life in high school and still is today. Even though when I needed help, she texted right back, answered me, answering my question for my college classes. If, ha if I hadn't been part of the Refugee Response Program, I wouldn't have gone this far as I have today. I wouldn't be as confident in what I am doing right now. Because of this program, Julie is part of my life now, and I have someone who is there to make sure that everything is going well with school and not only with education, but also with my personal life. Um, I would like to end this, uh, I would like to end my speech by thanking the Refugee Response Program and for giving me the opportunity to meet someone awesome and caring like Julie. And I, want to, I would like to say thank you to everyone for um, coming here tonight and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you.